pizza or pizza holics i'm over here in my hometown of bensonhurst brooklyn got a couple of sicilians from the well-known da vinci's it's just as i remembered it just as i remembered it let's go eat folks I don't want to waste any time, guys. Look what we got here. Now, Da Vinci's is a place that is highly regarded by locals and pizza connoisseurs for their Sicilian pizza. I, I come back here at least two, three times a year. Even though I don't live in Bensonhurst anymore, I do come here specifically for this pizza at least two, three times a year. And you know what's special about this place? It's a throwback. Just like back in the day, the only thing they sell is plain pizza, round and square. That's it. You ain't getting no baked CD or Caesar salad on this pizza. You want some toppings, pepperoni, and sausage, fine. But all they sell is plain. It's a type of pizza that's very unique and specific to this very small part of Bensonhurst, Brooklyn, and Bay Ridge. The Sicilians out here taste very differently than the Sicilians in Manhattan. They have their own unique flavor. Look at that beautiful stretch, guys. Not too bad, not too messy, pretty tight for a Sicilian pizza. Not too floppy, nice and tight. Very few strings of cheese hanging. Generously topped with cheese. Doesn't look undersourced. Uh, look at this thing, guys. Look at that bottom. Oh my Lord. What do we look for in a Sicilian? Light, fluffy, center, crispy finish. That bottom has to be crispy. It looks phenomenal underneath. This pizza, my, my friends, I'm going to tell you right now, before I even tasting it, I already know what I'm scoring. I don't even have to bite into it right now. Just by touching it, I know what this thing is. I've eat, I've, I was raised on this pizza, guys. Raised on it. I lived right down the block for 20 years. I lived right here in Bensonhurst on 63rd Street. This is what we used to order. And the smell, the smell of that cheese is so unique and it's on. Let me stop talking. Unmatched, guys. Did you hear that? Guys, this crust is so airy, light, pillowy in the center, soft. And finishes with a massive crunch. All right, guys, let's move into the lab and analyze the Da Vinci Square, Da Vinci Pizza, since 1966. And since 1977, the year I was born. I've been eating this pizza. I was raised on this stuff, guys. This is why I'm the man I am today. That's right. Da Vinci. Why do I love it? One of the best crusts. One of the best Sicilian crusts, in my opinion. Uh, very, very fluffy and pillowy in the center. With that exterior crunch that we all look for in a Sicilian. Beautifully browned. That is what I would actually consider char, guys. Uh, you know, it's not coal fire char, but it is nice and dark, nice and crunchy, fluffy in the middle. It's phenomenal. Check out the profile on this baby. Look at them air pockets. Is that airy enough for you? It's not the pulpiest sauce. It's a, it's a nice silky tomato sauce, but it didn't taste sour or watered down at all. And not only is there sauce on top of the pizza, you got sauce underneath that blanket of delicious cheese. So, you know, you may think, oh, is this a grandma slice? There's sauce on top. There's also sauce underneath, guys. So it's quite saucy and not under sauce by any means, as you can see there. Pretty decent sauce for a traditional New York Sicilian. Uh, the cheese really is what steals the show, in my opinion. Look at that beautiful white cheese on the well-done side. Absolutely on the well-done side. 
not pale at all not pale so we're gonna move this baby up to scale that cheese has such a rich nutty flavor it reminds me of the John Zablica cheese I don't know what kind of cheese it is but it's delicious not too greasy good milk content rich high viscosity and absolutely delicious folks all right guys the pizza gets cold we can't give it another fold because it is a square I mean you could fold it but we don't fold squares here in Brooklyn we do not fold squares in Brooklyn we hold them up even as this pizza cooled down stiff as a board does it retain its crisp its texture even though it is now 15 minutes out of the oven and uh, losing its heat let's take a bite and find out look at the compression look at that compression guys thick pizza nice and thick you take a bite it's so light and airy inside it compresses half its width what are we going to score this it does remind me of brothers in staten island a little bit brothers is a bit heavier than this a lot more cheese a lot more sauce but it's also floppier this is a little more balanced it's tighter good cheese to sauce ratio it doesn't overdo it like at brothers at brothers they pour a ton of sauce and cheese on the pizza and it tends to flop on you you do get a nice crispy bottom on the brothers sicilian in staten island uh it, but, but the crunch level is nowhere near as crunchy as this there's nothing like biting into a soft pillowy uh, uh dough or uh, crust and then hearing that crunch at the very end it's and 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 then coupled with the great ingredients the juicy sauce that nutty cheese my friends this is the highest rated sicilian i've ever scored on this channel i'm going eight six eight point six out of ten come on down and do yourself a favor if you don't come to this place because uh it doesn't say artisan pizza on the sign you're doing yourself a disservice come on down bensonhurst brooklyn 18th avenue where the real brooklyn squares are at be well guys hope you enjoyed this one seriously seriously da vinci's man i would appreciate if you guys could hit that like button smash that subscribe button it would help me out a lot and until next time this is antonio signing off Bye.